work for anyone except Starman. This has to be the reason the staff lit up. The staff chose me, and I choose you. I never thought there'd be another Starman. Star Girl. It's the new show that everyone's talking about on The CW. It's called Star Girl, and a new episode is on tonight right here on The CW. Actress Amy Smart joining us this morning from Michigan. She plays Star Girl's mom on the show. First of all, Amy, good morning. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good morning. Yeah, happy to be on your show. I'm excited to be talking about Star Girl. Where are you right now, and how are you holding up during this whole quarantine pandemic thing we got going on? Oh, yeah, kind of crazy, totally crazy. Um, I'm in northern Michigan in Traverse City right now with my family, and uh, I can't complain. You know, it's really beautiful here. It's on the lake. It's spacious. It's a bit more rural, so there's just a lot of nature, and um, it's, you know, it's it's pretty nuts. We were in L.A. most mostly um, for the quarantining, and now we're here, so it's kind of a breath of fresh air to come up to northern Michigan. It literally looks like a breath of fresh air when I've seen pictures of how beautiful it is there. Okay, get us up to date on the show. Star Girl, you play the mother of Star Girl. Uh, how's it going? And uh, what I have to tell you, first of all, the show's so cute, even if people are not into superheroes, because I think it's something the whole family can gather around to watch. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I play Star Girl's mom. And what I, it's, you know, it's about uh, this family that moves from big city Los Angeles to small town Blue Valley, they are able to afford to buy a house and start new in a small town where everyone kind of knows each other. Um, and we soon find out that there are a lot of hidden secrets there and they're not that great. And there's a lot of darkness happening. Um, but we also find out that Courtney and finds this cosmic staff and now she's Stargirl. And um, could you imagine, I mean, if you were a teenage girl and you found this amazing staff that has these crazy powers, how how amazing that would be to have. Oh, so I think this show is great because especially young girls can watch it and see how empowered young girls can be. And also take, having the courage to fight for what you believe in. Come with me. Um, and for me, this show is really fun because families can watch it. It's not just for kids or just for adults. It's for both. One of the things that you show on the show is you're raising a teenage daughter, but in real life, you're raising a much younger little girl. What superhero power do you wish you had as a mom now that you are a mom and you realize that I wish I had this or that to make this a little easier? Yeah, I mean, my daughter is three and a half and she's a really cool young little person, um, but she definitely is headstrong and very independent and wants to do things herself. And And I think it's funny because I always, it feels like toward the end of the day is when my patients run low. You know, it starts off, I've, I've got good patients pretty much at the beginning of the day throughout. And then come nighttime, I'm like, and now I'm running on empty. <laughs> so... <laughs> I sort of wish that those patients would just stay a bit longer. Um, but, you know, as far, as far as that, I think that you are, I'm always learning how to communicate m the most effectively with her because I know that her experience is so much different than mine. I mean, she has this little teeny brain. She's experiencing so many things for the first time. And, and so I know her view of the world is completely different than mine. And I have to just always remember, you know, trying to see life through her eyes. I don't think you're alone in what you were saying about the patients, though, because I always think I start off the morning like Mary Poppins and end up like Corella DeVille by mid-afternoon. Oh, my God. <laughs> totally. And that's why women drink more wine. No. <laughs> But it's definitely, you know, because you're absorbing their emotion and they are just on a roller coaster of emotion and, you know, they get tired and then they throw fits and then you remain calm, but you're just eating it because you want to be like, stop yelling. Can <laughs> I just give you a timeout? But no, I've got to just be a little quieter and patient. 
This is true. And we do need superhero powers for that many days. Normally, yep. Amy, I would think I'd be chatting with you at, at Comic-Con, which would typically take place in the month of July here in San Diego. Have you ever been? And what is it like not to have that this year? Yeah, I've only been once. I was there for Crank. <laughs> um, but it would have been really fun to come there for Stargirl. I'm really bummed that that's not happening. Um, I think we're doing some digital like online version of it but uh but i hope one day we can take we can come there for comic-con because that would just be so cool i think oh my gosh yes san diego loves you we would love to have you here at comic-con when we get that thing back on track uh, by the way any new hobbies projects uh, between you and your husband around the house now that we're in quarantine i know a lot of people are taking up new stuff oh my gosh well my husband has just been so busy i mean he's painted our house he's put in new cabinets he's He's in putting up fence, uh, this big fence to in LA to keep snakes out. But now that we're here, there's no rattlesnakes. We're very happy about that. <laughs> um, and for me, I just keep thinking about what what do I want to learn? And I keep wanting to learn a new instrument. And I keep thinking maybe I'll learn the ukulele because it's smaller, it's portable, it's it's got a fun sort of sound to it. So that's I think my new project. <laughs> That's your new project. Oh my gosh. Well, we can't wait to see the next episode of Stargirl. It's on tonight right here on the CW. It's at eight o'clock. Amy Smart, thank you so much for joining us and for giving us a little bit of hope and a nice friendly smile as we're making our way through all this. Yeah, thank you. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the season. It's, it's, it's got a lot of fun twists and turns coming up. It's a nice escape from reality. That's for sure. Thanks, yeah, for Amy. Sure. Okay, thanks.